Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This feels really cozy today. I don't know why I think it's because it's quite warm light, but Merry Christmas. I hope you have all had a beautiful time filled with love and you're taking it really easy on yourself because I know Christmas can be really fucking difficult, surrounded by sometimes family or not family and that can be difficult. So I hope you're already taking care of yourself if you're giving yourself all the love that you deserve, which is a lot, by the way. I wanted to do a little haul of what I've got. It's actually a bit weird because um, it's actually the 17th of December. I'm actually going away for Christmas. So me and my mum and my brother decided to do our Christmas gift swap for each other last night. I'm gonna show you what I got today. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting from like friends and stuff as it comes through. I'm so grateful. I'm just showing it because they're cute gift ideas as well. So you can get them for other people or you might want some for yourself. Enjoy. I'm gonna start with the vegan treats because my mom, <laughs> she got me every single type of galaxy bar. Like that is unreal. Also, if you didn't know, the smooth orange galaxy vegan chocolate bar tastes like Terry's chocolate orange. Also, I got, as always, like every birthday or Christmas, I get these because they're literally the best vegan sweets ever. Obsessed. From like my mom's friends, they got me Waterstones vouchers, but I'm not being funny. Like they've spoiled me. I've got 45 pounds in Waterstones vouchers. Like these are the first things I opened and already like this Christmas is the best. All I need is books. On the theme of books, actually, I got these two books from my mom. Um, I asked for this one, but I didn't ask for this one, but it sounds really interesting, but it also sounds like I'm literally going to bore my eyes out. And it says, there aren't many books that change the way you see the world. This book really might. I think it's about people who are like dying and stuff, which sounds awful. But like, it sounds really like profound and beautiful. I think I'll love it. I'll probably wait till I'm like in the best mental health state I've ever been to read that one because Midnight Library I really wanted to read for ages because everyone says how incredible Matt Haig is as a writer so I wanted to start off with this one. Also the next book I got I wanted for so long it's the Sophia Code which is apparently a visionary sacred text for the divine feminine Christ movement sweeping the planet. I'm excited like it's all about the divine feminine oh, that's just divine to be honest so I'm excited to read on another kind of book vibe I got some papier notebooks I got the academic journal because I know like the academic year started in September but I really needed this but I just couldn't spend that much money so I just waited until Christmas and it's really good because you can basically plan the whole month plan out day to day also there's like finance trackers and to-do lists and stuff like that so i think it will be really good gratitude lists key dates to remember little spaces to write random notes things like that so hopefully that's really helpful for me because i had a dreamy moons planner all of last year and i just needed that to sort my life out but i've not got another one this year so i thought this would be good now that i'm at school so pretty i love that design got this one as well it's just a plain lined notebook with swans on it and it says lucy because i thought they looked really beautiful together don't you think by the way these are all for my mom how incredible is she i was giving a haul to lucas my boyfriend last night on facetime and he was like your mom is just the most generous bestest person ever and i was like that is so true bestie but she also got me so i'm not quite sure how to use it i'm gonna figure it out but it's basically this like crystal charger it kind of steams the crystals and it has like a light on them so it charges them with light and steam and it comes with crystal rocks as well and then you put like the himalayan salt rocks on there and then it blows up steam apparently she saw it on an instagram ad so veil of gaia this is literally my favorite thing in the whole world and makes me feel like the god i am it's the rose quartz skin smoothing toner just like spray it all over your face and it's got rose quartz drops at the bottom so it's like every time you spray it i always like give myself an affirmation of love and i'm like i love myself spray 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 exactly like that i love the packaging of veil of guys so much like it's such a beautiful small business so i highly recommend checking it out i can leave all the little small business names down below as well if you'd like i got a chili's cup this is genuinely the thing i have been wanting for 
a million years. Every single day I think about this cup and how much I want it. We've got a kettle at school and I just want to be able to like put a tea bag in this and take it to school and drink tea at school. Like how iconic is that? It's just so gorgeous how it's in yellow. Like this is a beautiful colour. So I'm really happy I've got that. My baby. I also got quite a few more things from my mom, but I left them at home because I just came back to my place in London today just for a few hours before I go to Mia's house. So I've not got everything with me, but I recorded a few things. So I'll insert the other things that I got here. I got a huge box of these vegan Kinder Bueno wafers and they're just the best things I've ever put in my mouth. Like they taste just like Kinder Bueno and that was one of my favorite chocolates before I was vegan. And I just love the packaging and it's kind of a small business and it's just beautiful. I'm so excited to devour them all. And oh my God, I also got the most beautiful lingerie from net rose i am going to insert a photo here because i'm not going to try it on i'm obsessed i really wanted some underwear from net rose because i've already got a set and it's literally just the best thing i've ever put on and i wanted more of like a basic set so i chose this one i feel like i'm gonna look like an angel in it so i'm really excited because it's a cami top i can wear it under my leather jacket or a blazer or something as well and i can make it look more casual so i don't just have to wear it as underwear all sustainable and like a small female owned business and it's just beautiful it's in south africa i'm pretty sure so yeah check that one out because i'm obsessed with that rose also i just went to karis's house and it's so sad because me and karis can't see each other this year for christmas same with olympia but um i just went to karis's house and picked up the presents from hers i'm gonna open them now in front of you because i thought because i can't be with karis this year like i'd open them on camera so that it seems like we're together do you know what i mean because karis will be watching this so i love you thanks for the presents and i'm going to mia's later and i'm going to paris soon so i'll get other presents soon that i'll show you i don't know what she's got me as well like i have no idea like i think i asked them for stuff but i can't remember actually i don't think i did what is that Oh, it's a mug. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh. oh my god, it's beautiful. <gasps> oh my god, I actually want to cry. I'm shook to my core. I love you. Look how beautiful this is. Can you tell what star sign I am? <laughs> Oh my god, it is stunning, like stunning. Oh my god. Wow. It's me. It's me in a mug. Like this genuine like look at this mug and look at me. Same thing. I'm obsessed. Like thank you. Oh also I wanted to show you my nails like while I do that because my brother got me my nails basically i got my nails and my toes done for the christmas season for like holiday and stuff i'm all blued up feeling blue blue christmas by elvis presley sounds like a card game it's nat rose oh my god it's more underwear <gasps> i can actually show you the packaging of nat rose because look at this isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen you open it like that. Oh, yeah. Too beautiful, Karis. Thank you so much for your order, sunshine babe. We hope you absolutely love your net rays and welcome to the self love fam. OMG. They gave a discount code for using that. Oh my god, they're enormous. Is that right? I'm gonna try these on because they look really big but I think they're meant to be like French knickers so they're meant to be like more boxy and go around all of you oh black lace I'm gonna try them on right now but you're not gonna see so that's enough <laughs> oh my god thank you so much like that is the best combo ever like underwear and a fucking like Pisces mug like what actually could I ask for I got the bestest friends and then i'm seeing mia like literally in a couple of hours so i'll take you along with me for that as well so yeah just wanted to confirm the pants are incredible like incredible like maybe my favorite underwear like that i own 
like maybe in just in the whole wide world they're incredible and they fit perfectly so i'm really happy also i forgot i have this phone case it's like the florence given phone case it says life is too short not to love the shit out of yourself which is so true bestie so just wanted to show you that and say i'm really happy and i feel really sexy with my new underwear look what we got each other for christmas oh my gosh i'm obsessed i'm literally obsessed like how incredible have we done i have got a tommy tracksuit i asked lucy Harris and olympia for white joggers because i i only have one pair of gray joggers and i had them for like five years so they're kind of gross and then the surprise was the matching hoodie and i'm yep. literally obsessed like Okay, but Cause, cause people, yeah. people have toes. <laughs> like they'll, they'll zoom in on my toes and do stuff, so you know what that. But I'm literally obsessed. Me you got me this. It's from House of Sunny. And I love it because I literally feel like Sharpe Evans slash the Grinch. I feel like I'm about to steal Christmas. <laughs> Don't I look like a million bucks right now? There's a double zip so I can undo it from both ends. Then Mia got me the hotel chocolate batons. Unreal. Like stunning. Like they actually taste astronomical. Mia literally made this, like created it for me with her Leo creative of energy curated if you will <laughs> curated it's all about basically like how amazing i am <laughs> so it's got like all these little things about me on it which is so beautiful like just little quotes and little things about my zodiac which we all know i'm obsessed with zodiacs lucy just refers to star signs in every moment of life that's like me because i'm a pisces the constant division of attention between fantasy and reality like me that is you isn't then like the day of the birth of an angel like how true is that and this is like the god associated with me because like i am of love sexuality war in the sea like that that is actually me this is what actor means in greek this is my birth chart so yeah, like my sun is pisces my moon is pisces and then my rising is aries because i'm okay Lucy means being of light and my middle name Olivia means kind one and peace. Like how true is that? You're a very unique person in the sense that you're so caring and kind and peaceful but at the same time like a lot of the time you're like I don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> Do you want to know why that is? It's because I don't care what anyone else thinks about me. But like I care about others. I care about people so much but I don't care about their opinion on me. Hi, so I wanted to show you the final two things that I got that I actually took with me on holiday, where I am right now. The two things I got were books. I forgot to show you what my secret Santa got me, Brody, at my house. She got me, it's called The Lonely City by Olivia Lang. And I'm literally so excited to read it. I plan to read it on holiday, but I don't know if I'll have time to read it this holiday, but hopefully I'm going to Paris in a few days. So I'll read it there and maybe on the plane and stuff. And then the one that I'm reading this holiday is Clara and the Sun by Kazuro Ishiguro. I don't know how I feel about it so far because the plot sounds so cool. But then you're reading it and I just feel like it's not very well executed to be honest. And I kind of just want to wait till the end because basically I've listened to a podcast with this guy in it. It was literally so good and he seemed so wise and so intelligent. And I literally just loved him from listening to the podcast but then reading this I'm a bit disappointed. So I'm just going to wait till the end of the book. I am like 200 odd pages in and there's like 300 pages so I'm like well over halfway. Hopefully by the end it makes sense and like it all comes together as to why it's like such a well received book but at the moment i don't really understand what the hype is i've heard his other book never let me go is incredible so i'm definitely going to read that one afterwards i just wanted to show you the last two things and to end the video here thank you so so much for watching i hope you had a beautiful christmas and you enjoyed watching this haul and i'll see you in a video really really soon bye